2021 gave us a lot of great tech in the residential garage door industry, but not all of it was horsepower or HD cameras. Because of the current world situation, our garage door space became much more than a place to park our vehicles and store our stuff. In 2021, our garages became home gyms, office space, movie theaters, and even YouTube studios. Thus, in this video, I wanted to highlight some of the great garage door tech that came out this year that made our lives just a little bit more productive and creative. Let's party. Now in the garage door motor space, there were five motors that I specifically worked with in this past year that I feel are worth your attention. For example, we have the Genie 3120LHB. This garage door opener motor offers a solid performance despite the fact that it has a low LED lumen output. Nevertheless, it comes with everything that you need in order to get your garage door up and running, and it's one of the Genie motors that I offer the most. The next motor on the list is the Chamberlain B6753T. This is a high-tech retail garage door opener motor with a less than stellar build quality. I was very surprised to see that Chamberlain this year made a huge distinction with their retail product against their dealer contractor product, the LiftMaster brand. And even though they made that distinction, I was a bit disappointed to see that the build quality to their retail products was just not the same. Nevertheless, you will still get an excellent operating experience out of this motor, and it's one that I think most customers will probably choose in the retail channel. The next motor on our list is the Linear LDC-0863B. This is a high LED lumen garage door opener motor that offers just the right tech for most homeowners. And trust me, the LEDs to this motor really do impress. They go up to about 4,000 lumens. And that type of lighting can come real in handy, and it's one of the main reasons why it made my list this year. Of course, you know that LiftMaster was going to be on this list. In fact, the most inquired garage door opener motor from them this past year was the LiftMaster 87504-267 model. This is a garage door motor indulgence. Trust me, it comes with all the bells and whistles that you could ask for in a new garage door system. Nevertheless, I do feel that the average Joe would want a little bit more simplicity. But again, it was the most inquired garage door opener motor this past year for me. And last but not least, the garage door opener motor that still made my list this year is the Genie 6170HB wall mount garage door opener motor. It is still my preferred wall mount garage door motor, mainly because I had less service calls in this past year on that motor than the LiftMaster 8500W. Now there was a lot of tech that we got this year that made the garage door opener motor experience a lot better. For example, the built-in LEDs. Now LEDs have notoriously been a factor in affecting radio frequency transmission. And the way that these companies have mitigated that is by simply shielding the LEDs for less RF interference. We also got faster smart app connectivity. For example, MyQ now connects your garage door opener motor a lot faster to your home internet router. Linear also offers a great app experience and I really appreciate how their app has a very clean UI. And even though Aladdin Connect has had its issues, it continues to improve. So we can only expect that these smart apps for garage door opener motors to get better as connectivity becomes stronger. And another thing that we got in this past year that was a little bit more emphasized was a more integrated service experience. Now, what do I mean? Well, with the inclusion of Amazon Key into the LiftMaster product, these companies were now looking at ways that they could work with retailers and different companies to make a home service integration much more feasible. And the idea basically is that they're utilizing these services to make the home delivery process much more easier. For example, Genie now offers the Bench Sentry product that you're able to utilize with Walmart and other retail providers. But probably the most forward-thinking service that we got in this past year is the ability to open up your smart home locks and your smart garage door opener motors, not just for one property, but for several properties and simply using one app. And that service is provided by channel sponsor, Jervis System. Jervis Systems is an access management app designed to connect with your smart locks and smart garage door openers, allowing you to manage keyless access to one or multiple properties. 
Jervis Systems supports the top smart lock and smart garage door manufacturers such as Masterlock, Yale, Schlage, The Genie Company, LiftMaster, and many more. Once creating a Jervis System account, you can import the smart locks and smart garage door motors to control and manage access to your properties, providing secure keyless access to family members, friends, and even employees. Stop handing out physical keys or garage door remote transmitters that can easily be lost or stolen. Combine and consolidate access devices onto one platform, no more switching between apps or using multiple logins. So if the technology and services of Jervis System sounds like a party to you, well then use the promo code below to get 20% off your first year subscription. And a big thanks to Jervis Systems for being a sponsor of the channel. So what are some things that we hope to see in the garage door industry for 2022? Well, honestly, I'm looking for better battery backup solutions. Quite frankly, battery backups are good technology, but they're not as efficient as people think they are. The backup batteries that we get on these motors right now are acid batteries, so they only last roughly or respectively about two to three years. So perhaps maybe a lithium ion battery or maybe a battery that is solar charged would make a lot of sense. And that's a really neat prospect because think of the technology that exists in these portable power stations. For example, like the Anchor Powerhouse 2800, having a battery system in a garage door opener motor not just charging the motor, but having other devices being charged from the motor makes a lot of sense. And I would like to see more technology like that in the future, realizing that our garage door opener motor may be a good power source in case of an emergency. Another thing that I would like to see is a battery backup version for the LiftMaster 84501 belt drive garage door opener motor. Now this motor does exist, but unfortunately it does not have a battery backup, so I can't get access to it here in Southern California. Nevertheless, having that motor with a battery backup that is a belt drive garage door opener motor from LiftMaster with no camera is a nice little fit for those customers that are looking for a garage door opener motor that doesn't have all the bells and whistles of an HD camera. And another thing that I would like to see is a better spring solution. For example, right now we're still going through a torsion spring shortage and there's a lot of challenges that we're having to face not being able to get the right torsion springs for garage doors. So I would like to see a manufacturer come up with a solution that perhaps maybe is an alternative to torsion springs. I know the Wayne Dalton Torque Master Plus spring system exists, but that's very proprietary to the Wayne Dalton brand, specifically the Wayne Dalton 9100 model door. Thus, thinking of a type of spring system that could be manufactured or modified or new, some new technology for garage door systems, for springs for garage doors, that would be really nice. And I'd love to see that, if not in this year, hopefully in the coming future. And last but not least, I really do hope we get more options in the residential wall mount garage door motors. Quite frankly, you only have two options right now, and that's going to be the LiftMaster and Genie. Thus, these companies like, for example, Morantech, Linear, even Guardian could come out with a wall mount garage door opener motor to provide a little bit more competition in this space. And being that there's only two, well, there's really one or the other option. And if you're from either camp or if you don't really care about either camp, you're stuck with those two options. So having a next generation wall mount garage door opener motor or a company that comes out with a new wall mount garage door opener motor here in this year would be really nice. So 2021 definitely allowed us to reflect with regards to the time that we spent in our garage. And again, our garages ended up coming in clutch, giving us the opportunity to convert them into home gyms, office spaces, classrooms, movie theaters, and even YouTube studios. And thus, having the right technology for your garage door system probably made that possible. But again, if you don't have a garage door system that is well lit, functioning, that's safe, and that gives you all of the amenities and features that you need in order to utilize your garage door in a proper way, well, I think maybe 2022 could be that year where you might make those upgrades. In fact, if you did something different to your garage to make a life a little bit better in 2021, please share it. If you have a cool story or maybe even a cool idea, leave it down in the comments because I'd love to hear from you. And of course, the pro tips, techniques, and ideas in these videos, well, they're not considered law or infallible. Why? Number one, because I'm nobody. But at the same time, it's important to understand your garage door needs and your garage door circumstances. And if you don't care to know these needs, then reach out to a contractor because that's what we're there for. That's gonna be it for this one, party people. I wanna thank you so much for watching this video and parting with me. Now, please check out this other video right here that can provide you more pro tips and tech reviews for your residential garage store needs. And as always, y'all stay safe.